Farmboy Reef here. So on today's episode of Coral Fridays, I actually picked up two really nice uh, coral specimens. Um, in our Farm Boy Reef Club, a uh, guy was saying he really wanted to see a candy cane coral. So I ended up finding the kryptonite candy cane coral. I got a really nice uh, piece here. Um, it's got that really, you know, the kryptonite colors from the Superman uh, comic books. It looks really great. So I picked that up. Um, so the other one I picked up today too was uh, a branching uh, Acropora. It's uh, really nice. Uh, it's a purple, it's got the purple colors to it. Um, I picked it up. It's a pretty good size frag. Um, I want to see what it can turn into. Sometimes when you put different uh, species of coral in your tank, they can really color up different. I got a couple in here that I bought that were blue and they turn green. It's uh, really wild. So I end up, I got both of them right here behind me acclimating. So let's go ahead. We'll get them out of the bags. Um, we're going to make sure we do our coral dip, do the revive coral dip uh, from Julian Sprung's uh, revive. It's really great stuff. And then uh, we're going to place them in the tank and I'm going to tell you a little bit about them and we'll go from there. So let's go down to the lab and we're going to get those, uh, get it in the coral dip and we'll check it out guys. Okay, so I got the, the kryptonite coral in here, the candy cane coral. I got it put in here. I got, uh, I used the revive. I used the uh, revive from the two little fishies, Julian Sprung's really good stuff. Picked up for $9.99. So you end up using uh, four capfuls. So you hear it says four capfuls for 40 milliliters of water. 3.8 liters and you keep it in for 15 minutes. This stuff's great, it takes a little, every little uh, pest off. I've had really good success with it. So I got it in here mixed up right now. So now I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take a little pipe here and I'm just gonna agitate the water a little bit, make sure we get make sure there's no little pests on here. So we just move it around a little bit. Let's see if there's any little critters on here. So I thought I saw one of those little pest uh, starfish. Move it around a little bit more. It's looking pretty clean so far. You can see just a couple little mice shrimp floating around. Hey, you guys can see uh, there's one of the those pest starfish. You guys can see it right there. Uh, it's got the brown on it. Now that's what we don't want getting in the tank. I finally got rid of all the ones I had. They're not really bad, but they will eat like on your zoo corals and stuff. You see it right there? Let's try to pick it off. He's on there pretty good. But this, see there, he'll start falling off when the, the revive kicks in. You see that? There's one. So they're good. Like I have my uh, Harlem shrimp uh, in my tank. They they keep all these little uh, starfish under control anyway. But uh, so that's what you want to do. Make sure you don't get all these little pests in there. So there's one guy. I think it's all looks pretty good. The coral is pretty clean as it is. So let's just let that soak for 15 minutes and we'll move on to the, I got the purple branching uh, Acropora next. So I got the purple uh, branching Acropora right here. So I got it just in here with the, with the candy cane. So I'm just letting it soak. I don't want to, I want to irritate, like move the water a little bit, but I don't want to hit it because it can be brittle sometimes. So we're just going to move the water, let it go around all the corals to make sure we get rid, of, get rid of all the pests. So I'm going to leave it sit for 15 minutes as well. Let's just move that away from that coral. But you guys, you guys can see like a few mice of shrimp uh, floating around there. So we got this one as a frag, but it's nice if we get them as frags. You can get them a lot cheaper. I think I picked the one up on the right there, the purple uh, branching acropora, for like fifteen dollars today. It was a sale on it. So let's uh, let's let's let it soak up, and then we're gonna move it move it upstairs in the display tank and get them all mounted. I just wanted to show you um, if I wouldn't use the revive, these two little pest starfish would have got in my tank. Um, these uh, these type here that like to eat the, the fleshy part around any like frog spawn or like just like my candy cane coral I got they like to eat the flesh around it. it's not like they mean to do it but they like to eat that and then you end up killing your corals that way so it's really the best if you can get all these little guys out of your tank I end up using the Harlem shrimp like for my other videos to clear all the those little shrimp out of my tank so I don't need to get any more in there so I make sure the corals are really clean so there you go guys just make sure you keep them out of your tank they're not the end of the world, but definitely if you can keep any pests out of your tank, the All better. Alright guys, so we just did the Revive uh, Coral Dip together. So now I just, I got the two uh, specimens right here. I'm going to show you guys up close and personal what I got. So I got the Branching uh, Acapora Frag here. It's purple in color. It's hard to tell, but hopefully under the lights I'll have it showing you guys. So this guy here, he likes high intense light and lots of flow. So I'm going to end up putting him near the top. Um, the application I'm going to use on him, I'm going to use uh, Putty. Uh, the putty that looks like coralline algae, I'll be using the putty and the glue to do this one. So this is going to go in a high flow area, high intense light, and they like uh, low uh, nutrients, uh, low phosphate, low nitrate. 
So we're gonna move on to the next one. Just gonna get it out here. We got the kryptonite uh, candy cane coral. You guys see that? It's a really nice piece. Um, this piece here is mostly considered uh, like a beginner coral. I want to show you guys. Um, it's really tolerant to like uh, different water changes, salinity, pH. It can really pretty much bounce back. So it's a really good starter coral if you guys can get it. So that's the kryptonite one. It likes high intense light and good flow. This one here, it really colors up nicely. You want to try to feed it feed it every other day or more and it'll definitely color up and grow a lot faster if you don't feed it it won't color up as nice so definitely definitely a good piece to get guys and try that out so I'm getting pretty excited to see how these ones will turn out so let's uh, let's get them in the tank let's get them all mounted and then we'll we'll check them out under the lights and see what we got all right, guys so I got the two corals all mounted up there right now so I end up mounting the, the kryptonite uh, candy cane coral right here in the middle it's on the top of the one rock it's really high in the tank, so it's going to get a lot of light and a lot of flow. So with the Radions, the T5 uh, combination, it should work out really well. So I end up mounting that one there. So the next one we have there is the, the SPS branching uh, Acupora. I got it on the left-hand side. I put it high in the tank as well. Um, so it's got a lot, of, a lot of flow, a lot of light. And with the T5s, it should really take off. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to frag that up really soon. So I'm going to show you guys where I end up mounting it. And then uh, we'll turn the lights down and see what kind of colors right, we got. Guys, so there's the, the kryptonite candy cane crawl right there. So it's pretty bright. You can see uh, how bright that is right now. So let's, I've got the radion uh, lit up there right now. So I'm going to use my reef link. And uh, let's start turning down some of the colors and see what we got here. So I just took down the red down to zero. The greens. Cool whites are down. So you guys can see how bright that is right now. Let's take the blues down. 35%, take them down to 20. Let's take the royal blues down. Keep taking them down, I got them down to like 15%. UV, drop that. So it's not fully extended because we just put it in the tank too, so we have to remember that as well. But you guys can get the picture of what it's going to look like when it's fully open. So that's the kryptonite candy cane coral, guys. Let's go polyfluorescence on it. Pretty sweet. So that's the purple SPS uh, branching acapora right there. So uh, let's start turning the colors down again. Let's take our reds down. Let's take our greens, our cool whites. So now we're just with our blues. So let's turn our blues down. Turn our royal blues down a bit. So you guys can see the purple in it. it. What I can see is actually it's purple. It's got little yellow uh, polyps on it. So that's pretty cool. I can't wait for this one to grow up a bit. Looking down a little too far. All right, so there we go. So you guys can see the purple on it. There you go. So that's the purple branching right there, guys. So we can turn it down just a little more. And now, so he always likes to photobomb everything. So that's the two corals for today, guys. All right, guys. So uh, that's Coral Friday for this week, episode 10. I hope you guys really like this episode. Uh, two really nice pieces there. Uh, I'm going to try to get a filter next time so you guys can really see the colors like I do. Um, I think these radions, real, they're so bright that they, they mess up the lens on the camera, but I'm definitely going to get a filter. But I hope you guys like this. Uh, I hope the, the candy cane coral, the kryptonite candy cane coral, one of our uh, fellow reefers on Farmer Reef Club, uh, he wanted to see that coral, so I hope you really like it. Picked it up for you. And then we have the, the SPS uh, branching acupora right there, the purple, and it's got yellow uh, polyps on it, so it's a really nice piece. I can't wait for them to grow up and we can start fragging them out, guys. So uh, thanks for watching this episode. Um, to stay tuned in for uh, next Friday for the next uh, episode, episode 11. Um, my other uh, other videos coming up is going to be the 20 gallon reef build. It's coming up very soon. I'm going to be posting that up, guys. So I hope you guys have a great weekend. Uh, thanks for watching. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. You never know what uh, video I'm going to have up next, guys. Thanks.